Real quick guys, just before we get into today's video, I want to give you guys a little bit of context. So, last weekend we were invited to stay out at Animal Kingdom Lodge Kadani Village by Koda's parents. Unfortunately, we were not staying in the master bedroom, we were sleeping in the living room on the pullout bed. So, this isn't going to be your standard room review that you might be expecting. This video is just a compilation of the shenanigans that we got into this past weekend at the hotel, plus a brief hotel tour of Kadani Village, but nothing that includes the actual room. We're gonna be doing a separate video later on within the next few days of my overall thoughts of Kadani Village and the pros and cons, because Lord knows I do have some pros and cons for Kadani Village that I want to get out there to you guys. And also we are going to be doing a separate video on our our food review for the bread service at Kadani Village because oh, I have some thoughts on that one as well. The video kind of ends abruptly. Like I said, this is just a, a compilation video of all the different shenanigans that we got into this past weekend. But either way, I hope you enjoy. We have more videos to come in the very near future. If you want to find out more information on the Animal Kingdom Lodge Kadani Village, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. I hope you are all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, and evening. And I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, more specifically, Kadani Village. We checked in really late last night, and so I didn't get a chance to film any of, any of the stuff that we did as we were coming in or checking in or anything like that. It is the morning after. We are here for three nights and four days. So we check out on Sunday. It's currently Thursday right now. And I gotta say, this hotel is nice. We were graciously invited out here by Coda's parents. They are out here for the weekend. They're the ones who purchased this room. And they invited us to stay out here with them for the weekend and get to enjoy this beautiful hotel. And guys, it is gorgeous. I'm not going to be showing too much of the room right now because it is a hot mess. There's a lot of stuff everywhere. It's a whole family. There's five of... No, there's... There's six of us here right now. No, five. One, two, three. Yeah, there's five of us here right now. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of stuff in there. We're staying in a one-bedroom villa with a savannah view. And uh, today, uh, we're going to go around the hotel, show you guys around. Um, I think Jumbo House is closed right now, so I don't think we're going to be exploring that. But we can explore a bit of Kidani Village, and I'm super excited to be here. It's my first time ever staying at this hotel, so I'm super, super thankful. And this view is unbelievable. So today we were actually supposed to be going to Hollywood Studios. As you can imagine, we woke up bright and early this morning just before 7 a.m. to try and get a boarding group. I sat myself down right there to try and get a boarding group and within five seconds they were gone. So uh, yeah, unfortunately we were not able to procure a boarding group today. So in order to um, forget about my sadness, I continued to sit in that chair and I watched today's episode of WandaVision and this was my view and in the middle of WandaVision you know when I got out here it was like 7 30 that I started watching there was nothing out here there were no animals at all out here and you can hardly see any animals out here right now there's some right there but um, there were no animals at all out here and then I hear galloping and I hear birds um, making making noises I don't know if, I don't know if it's chirping it was more like howling or cacawing I don't know they were making some loud noises you can see them all. The birds were, were like kind of flying, running all over here, and then you see the wildebeest that are down there, and a bunch of um, a bunch of other adaxes, I think, running and galloping and sprinting all up and down the savanna over here. And you could see everybody in unison come out of their rooms and stand out on their balconies to admire the animals that were just running around. So that was about 7:40 in the morning that that happened. I don't know if it's the same time every single day, but that was quite. A lovely sight to see and immediately you know I 
I knew that that is why people pay so much to stay here for little moments like that to see the animals come out first thing in the morning and to see them running around and to have a good time like I said we're in a one bedroom villa so we have a quite large balcony over here a lot of room for activities on this balcony so let's come around over here and get a shot of some of these cattle you know, zooming on in on those cattle look at that they are quite impressive. I know it's kind of blurry because they're kind of off in the distance, but man, the horns on those things. And then, you know, further off in the distance, we were able to see some giraffe and some zebras. So I'm sure that we're going to be seeing a lot more animals over the course of our stay. And I'm just really excited to have a giraffe like right here in this area. You can see that they have a little uh, thing there full of hay for a giraffe to eat. And it's pretty high up. So that's specifically meant for a giraffe. So I'm sure we're going to be seeing some giraffes out here relatively soon. But man, this is just beautiful. And I am loving this hotel already. I cannot wait to explore the rest of it. Well, I guess it's a good thing we didn't leave for Hollywood Studios yet. Because damn. Well, about 30 minutes after it started raining, it finally stopped. And we have a friend. Look at him. He looks adorable. He's over there munching. <laughs> I wonder what your name is. Tell me to get up. Giraffe. Giraffe. <laughs> He's staring right at me. Hi. Hmm. Hmm. Goes back for more food. <laughs> Approximately 10 hours later. So we are heading on down to the main lobby right now in Kadani Village to try something that a lot of you guys have been suggesting that we do. We are going to go down to Sanaa and we are going to get the bread service to go, obviously. And we're going to bring it back up to the room and we're going to review it for you guys. I have never had the bread service before, but I've heard very good things about it. A lot of you guys in the comment section of videos and on live streams have told me very good things about the bread service so we're here might as well if you if you come to Animal Kingdom Lodge you need to do it so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna head on down this will actually be my first time heading on down to the lobby as well so it'll be a nice first look well this is very interesting this looks quite nice I want to come back here during the day and see what it looks like in the daylight but I'm assuming Sanaa is downstairs, so let's go. Well, that was a, a little bit of a fail. We got down there and they said the mobile ordering was completely full for the night. And, you know, it's about 8.30 right now and they're like, oh, come back in like an hour or something. You can go to the bar and, uh, and get it. But we're on the opposite side of the hotel and... And it didn't necessarily feel like walking all the way back to the room just to come walking all the way back to Sanaa to get bread. We're just going to do it in the morning. We're going to do it tomorrow. We're going to try again as soon as they open at 11.30 and then we'll head on back. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is day two, I guess you could say, our second full day here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's our last full day. And um, woke up this morning to find not too much outside, but, you know, we got... Um, you, you just gotta see this. Explain to me why I walk outside and there is a flippin' pterodactyl outside the room. Look at that thing! Look at the beak on that! Tell me that is not a pterodactyl. That is... That is absolutely terrifying. And according to Koda, these things eat meat. They do. Dead things. I said dead things for the record. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they've picked at some live things. What else? Yeah, they eat like this. That is, that is terrifying, but we do have some, some cows out here as well. Okay. And, um, some more pterodactyls down there. And I think that is an ostrich down there as well. Also, it is significantly colder this morning than it was yesterday. We had a cold front come through last night, hence all the rain that you guys saw in yesterday's video. Um, and I am freezing out here. My, my, my little piggies are cold. I'm going back okay. inside. So this is how the mornings are. And cut is sitting down, all wrapped up. It's a little too cold outside, so the door's closed. And uh, she's getting excited for some giraffe, which I currently see three out there. Yeah, one was walking this way, and then he decided to not. So he Koda's looked at the and went, nah. <laughs> Koda's a little sad about that. You can see them kind of over there. It's kind of blurry, I'm sure, but 
you know, she's just waiting anxiously for the draft to come over here to this feeder that's right by our room. <laughs> you know, these are the kind of shenanigans that we get into when we're at a hotel room. And this is why Coda and I should not be allowed to have adult adult money because, you know, even if we didn't pay for this room, we still get into shenanigans like this. And, you know, okay, down you go. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay, I'm sliding, take me out. Take me out. Yeah. Firmly grasp it. Oh. Yeah. There you go, she's alive. It's a coda. <laughs> All right, so it is the morning after, and we are trying the bread service again. <laughs> Last night. Last night was not very successful, but uh, we got an arrival window of 11.50 to 12.20, and uh, we're going to be getting our bread service. I am super excited. It's the only thing we're getting. Um, nothing else on the menu really um, piqued my interest, so I'm excited. And now it is time to do a little bit of hotel exploring. Yes? Do not remove. Oh. Huh. Ah, back in this teeny tiny little lobby. We'll be discussing uh, this a little bit more later in my, in my feelings overall about this, but you know, Coda does bring up a good point that this is a DVC check-in area. This is like a very DVC centric side of the hotel, so um, hence why it's so small. Typically, you know, DVCs are a little bit smaller. All right, so right now we are on our way to try and find the Okapis, and we're heading out this way. This is the main lobby over here for Kidani Village, and this is where you pull in to drop off your stuff. And we're walking out this way and heading around. I'm not sure if there is an easier way. I'm sure there might be. That's more indoorsy. But this is the way that we're taking right now. And there was a sign there that said pull this way, so we're gonna go and check it out. Alrighty, so this is the entirety of Kidani Village. Our hotel room is somewhere around over here, and we need to walk all the way over here to the main lobby, and we came outside, and yeah, I'm assuming that this is the most direct way to get to the pool area. You come out here from the main lobby and come out and around. This is where we are, obviously, and uh, it looks like the next way is over on this end of Kidani Village, which is, you know, shaped like a W. So it's very, wow. very interesting that you have to come out over here. It's just like, I don't, I don't, I just don't understand the thought process of the design of this place. I will say, as far as the aesthetics go, it's really nice. It definitely feels very Animal Kingdom-esque, which is what I'm sure they were going for. Coda, are you okay? No. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I was losing my mask. <laughs> ah, okay. I was just sitting on my shoulder, but I got it to loosen. <laughs> so beyond this bar over here, there is a pool. So this is like the official pool bar. And then there is an additional animal viewing area over here. So coming around and this way. And there's different temperatures. And Koda mentioned that this particular animal that is right here is called a Nyala. <laughs> So that's cool. They have their own little separate animal viewing area. Yeah. Interesting. Looks very blurry because they're so far away, but nice. And then Koda pointed out these uh, Egyptian geese, is what she's calling them. They're not Egyptian nor geese. Okay, so why are they called Egyptian geese? I don't know. I didn't name them. And then out of nowhere, we got some, these are called Red River Hogs. There's three of them. They just came kind of running around that corner over there along with some Impala. And uh, here comes doot 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 doot. <laughs> They're actually kind of adorable. And Coda got really excited when she saw them. I'll go playing in the dirt. Yes! Make yourself comfortable. And nap. So, after talking to Coda, this is considered a savanna. So, if you're in one of these rooms, um, this is considered a savanna view room. I mean, you don't get giraffes, but you get, um, what is it, okapis and nayalas and these, and these uh, pigs running around here, hogs. River hogs. So, so you get different kinds of animals over here, but you know, I guess it all depends on your animal preference. If you're wanting to stay here, definitely 
do your research ahead of time and figure out what savannas have what animals and whatever animals you're more interested in I would definitely recommend uh, requesting a savanna view room with a viewing of those specific kind of animals that you're looking for because if you're not specific you could get stuck over here me personally if I were in this area with this you know small little savanna compared to what we have in our room I would feel a little um, I don't I wouldn't say ripped off but I would I would feel like um, I, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is but uh, gypped maybe I, I don't know but either way I just would not be satisfied with this particular view especially paying so much money you know to stay here I want the big savanna where you can see a lot more of the more interesting animals. Alright, so I'm going to leave Coda by herself to look at the animals and we are going to do a little exploring over here and we are coming out to the pool bar. I think it's called Maji. You get those hours over there, those times tend to fluctuate. We've got a football game going on over here. They got some little mini pretzels, and it looks like they have a hot dog machine over there. They got some weenies going. They have uh, different chips. Oh, look, here's a full menu over here. You guys can take a quick look at that. If you need to pause the video, go right on ahead. Interesting. And yeah, yeah the prices are kind of out there, I will say. But, you know, if you're paying so much money to stay at this hotel, you know, these prices might seem okay to you. But, yeah, it looks really nice. you got plenty of seating around here, socially distanced. It looks really nice. And here is a look at the pool area for Kadani Village. As you can see, there's not a lot of people here at all because it is kind of chilly and there's even a water slide. I'm kind of upset that I didn't come out here yesterday. It was a little bit warmer, but it was also, you know, getting ready to storm out here. So, I mean, maybe we'll have some time tomorrow if it's not crazy chilly like it is right now. But, I mean, when it's chilly, it's honestly the best time to come and explore the pool area. But let's come around over here. It looks like we have a jacuzzi or a hot tub, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Pretty standard. Nothing fancy. You can see some water jets in there. I think there's. I think that green button is what, what turns it on. So that's really nice. But wow, this pool area is actually really nice, and I'm loving the slide over there. The slide looks really cool. It's actually kind of tall. You know, by kitty slide standards, you can see it starts up at the top over there and swirlies around, and then you end up down at the bottom. But the pool area is really nice. Oh look, they have a little teeny tiny slide right here. That is adorable. That's not bad at all. I like this. And again, this hotel is out here almost literally in the middle of effing nowhere. So uh, you got a lot of this surrounding the hotel and the pool area. Like this is literally the boundary of the pool area and you got this on the outside, which is pretty interesting. Here's a closer look at the little itty bitty kitty slide on this side. And here's a closer look at the slide. You can see it starts from right there and then you come down into the water and here's a better overall look at the pool area it's actually really quite nice oh my gosh we have a water play area as you can see it's quite vacant at the moment a lot of folks are either fearful of the cold or at the water or at the theme parks right now but this is so cool I'm honestly upset that I didn't come here yesterday oh Okay, it got scared of me. It's because I'm brown, isn't it? I'll just turn around. Come on down over here. I can, I, I can imagine kids are going to enjoy this area quite a bit. Coming out this way, we got water buckets. In the video. Oh gosh, that is a lot of water. I didn't realize that was so much water there. My feet are wet now. Dang it. It's actually a lot more water than I was anticipating. But anyways, no big deal. Uh, we got water cannons that you can play around with. You get people wet really cool and there's a slide there so I don't think that's a water slide I think that's just a regular slide you can kind of come up the stairs over here you can see it looks like a lifeguard up there or maybe not he just left okay bye <laughs> and uh, you can slide down the slide by the way I found the entrance to the slide and coming up the stairs and it's right here also very interesting note is that you don't need a magic band to get inside the pool area so do as you will with that information and this is a much better look at the savannah view that you have from the lobby it looks like there's a savannah overlook outside over there too that we can probably hang out in and we got two zebras right over here by the lobby and one looks like a baby it looks smaller it's, 
Yeah, it's definitely a smaller zebra, so it's definitely a younger one. And then we have a giraffe right over there. All right, just by the entrance to Sanaa, we have the exit out here to another viewing area. This is one of the main viewing areas of the biggest savanna that I would definitely recommend being on. Our room is in that building right there. And you can see we got a lot of different animals out there. We have other animals over here. We got a couple of zebras and we had a giraffe walking by earlier that I, I you can you can see its butt <laughs> right over there. Look at how derpy that thing is. Look at it going down and getting some, it's getting getting a drink of water or something. Hold up. Like look at that. Look at his legs spread. <laughs> it looks so derpy. <laughs> But anyways, it's so it, it's so nice out here. And I just want to say, the back side of the lobby looks absolutely gorgeous. There's some incredible architecture. And unfortunately, as much as we'd like to stay out here and admire the animals, because Coda really wants to, she's actually pouting her way back inside, we have our bread service to pick up. I'm super excited to try that. Early the next morning, Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is our last day here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Unfortunately, we are checking out. It is about 9.30 right now. We just woke up. Checkout is at 11, so we're all in the process of getting our stuff together and, you know, bringing it downstairs. That way we can leave. Today is a Magic Kingdom day, so I am very excited for that. But I just want to show you guys what we woke up to this morning outside of our room. You know, I got to say, this is probably the best morning view we've had our entire stay we've got some huzuma what's down there we've got a long neck cheetah we've got some we've got some referees over there another long neck cheetah and some more referees right there that is awesome they're all just out here chilling you know the entire time that we've been here the zebras have been, you know, pretty far away from this area. They've been mostly down there on that end of the savanna. So I'm actually quite surprised to see, what is it, five zebras out here? But, man, I'm going to miss this. Another thing that I want to say is that housekeeping here, zero chill. <laughs> zero chill when it comes to housekeeping. At 9 o'clock in the morning, they were tap, 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 housekeeping. Housekeeping. 9 o'clock in the morning, we were all still asleep. They used their, they used their car. They knock on the door real loud. <laughs> we're checking out today. We're, we know we need to be out of here at 11, but 9 o'clock, come on. <laughs> oh, my God. That was a that was a little bit of a rude awakening, but uh, but yeah, just just be aware of that if you come here. The housekeeping zero chill. I just can't get over these animals. It's so awesome, and you know this is exactly what you pay for when you come to this hotel. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Looks like someone ran out of hay on that end, and they came over here to take some hay from this one. <laughs> It's okay, sharing is caring. 